Damn, I look hella white in this lighting. Had to turn it down a bit, but what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'm basically going to be doing a vlog talking about mistakes were made. And this topic is pretty serious, you know, I can't really joke around with this. You know, it hurts my soul, my human being soul, knowing that I made so many mistakes in my career. And some of you are wondering, what mistakes did you do, Apathy? What mistakes did you do, Brian? Well, there's been a lot of mistakes, including team changes, including maybe not playing, participating in a tournament, or missing a tournament, or missing a league match, and I'm explain a couple and why. And trust me, it really grinds my gears. Like, I go back and I reminisce, and I think, damn, I was stupid, why did I do that? And you know, you never really know that outcome, but once you do something and it doesn't go your way, you realize how stupid you were, and it kind of does backfire and it hurts you. You know, let's say if you take a risk, you take a risk, right? You bet $500 on black, you're playing, you're playing roulette right now. You know if you win this, you get $1,000. So shit, you double, your, you double your money. But if you lose, you lose all your money. At the same time, you're like, damn, this could be really rewarding. But at the, at the same time, you know, your mind's telling you, you know, this is pretty stupid. You could lose all your money in this one, in one play. You could either double it and feel like the best thing on earth, or you just lose it all. And this year, you know, it's been pretty rough for me. Uh, I want to talk about a couple things like, for example, you know, I was on phase. We won the first event. Uh, second event, you know, we didn't practice much. Uh, it wasn't all my fault. I felt like Aix was, didn't really care as much as well. But I did miss, I made us miss about four days of practice because I was traveling to the Faze house and I was at families for like two days for uh, Christmas. And you know, we didn't practice for like four days. You know, I decided to take like this mini vacation, which four days isn't much. But in general, you know, I could have played more. Everyone could have played more. I actually played pretty good at the event. But you know, I feel like it's not always about you. You know, it's about the team. You know, if you, like, let's say for example, one player is struggling on the team. How is he gonna improve? If you don't play, if you're making a miss, like team practice, he's, he ha he, like his chances of improving are, are a lot lower. So that's like, I kind of I kind of take blame for that. You know, we win the first event, we place top 16 the next event, and then things kind of go downhill from there. We hate each other, we didn't want Aix. Aix decided to, you know what, I'm making my own team after that. He decided to go, Slash decided to go with him, and me and Sensor decided to go make our own team. And it was just a whole bunch of ups and downs, you know, no, like our, all our chemistry was gone, you know, we had to remake a new team. It was just a whole bunch of bullshit. And I was so pissed. I will never forget the day that, you know, he pretty much took the team from us and Temper, you know, I was going off on Aix on some videos, on Twitter, and Temper told me, you know, like, calm down, you know, you're gonna have your own face black team, you know, all these things. And I'm like, no, man, you don't understand. Like, he's, first of all, he's taking Slasher, which, or Slasher decided to go with him, which, he, and, and personally, like, he was like one of the best ones on the team, and I think he's a really good player. And then on top of that, we had to make our own team from scratch. You know, we had to find two players when most teams are already settled. You know, he go, like, it was just a whole bunch of bullshit, man. This is champs, this is the biggest event. I need money to live. I need to pay for, I need to pay some bills. I need to eat, I need to support Maria. And you know, it was just, it was really hard. I got extremely mad, but I'm not the type of person like excuses. You know, after a while, I just let it go. I continued on with my life. I just kept working hard and hopefully at champs we were gonna do good. We ended up losing a close ass series to SB and then lost a close ass series to Orbit. Like, it was so demoralizing I, by small clutches. Like, I hope that never ever happens to me again, dude, or I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lose it. And on top of that, you know, I had to miss a really, 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 well, I had to miss a league match and it was pretty important, you know, what I had to do. You know, I could have maybe sacrificed that things would have been pretty bad if I did, but I would have played, participated in a league match. You know, we had a high chance of going to season two playoffs. And I felt like that was one of the biggest mistakes in my life, just because of how hard it backfired. <sighs> pretty much, just to summarize it, I missed a league match. You know, I told them, just play, play with a sub. At the moment, Slack was our sub. We're planning to go with center. You know, we pretty much have a five-man roster. Somebody had to stay out of season two playoffs. And all we needed was one win. We're pretty much guaranteed a season two playoffs. You know, I've never missed an event be due to not uh, qualifying. So this is going to be the first event ever. I decided to, you know, miss it. I'm like, Slack will just fill in. You know, it's all good. So someone ended up recovering for Slack's account. Uh, we won the match, but later Slack find out, found out that you know somebody recovered. He basically snitched. You know, told MLG that he wasn't the one playing. Uh, Sensor, classic. And I think someone else got banned 
uh, Mochilla because they're on our team. They all got banned and Doug wasn't able to participate in tournaments, any tournament online, 2Ks, 5Ks, and just a tournament. And that, that kind of hurt our practice because that was the month before champs. And you know, we still played pretty good and it just came down to choking in reality. But that just hurt us so bad, man. Like, if I think in my head, if we would have just practiced like on those tournaments, like it's not a huge deal, but it, at the same time, it kind of is. You know, this is champs, man. You gotta go hard. So if we just would have practiced in those tournaments, like we, I might have had like a better placing in champs. I might have placed like sixth or seventh. If I would have gone to season two playoffs, I might have got like top six or top four. And it just hurts, man. Like this year, I've done a lot of mistakes. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit. You know, I'm an idiot. I take full blame for some mistakes I did. It's been a pretty rough year for me, guys. You know, I didn't make nothing at Champs. I've been placing pretty shit. You know, this is my career right now. This is how I make money, how I make a living. And it just, it's been pretty downhill. Thankfully, you know, MLG has a, uh, you know, a kind of like a salary, which helps me a lot. If they didn't have that, man, I probably, I'm probably gonna be broke. You know, I kind of am broke already, to be honest. But, you know, I'm still striving for the best. I'm still doing YouTube, which helps me a little. I'm still streaming. You know, I'm still working hard every day because this is what I want to do and this is what I love. And at the end of the day, you know, I know I'll bounce back. I just got to work harder. I just got to put more time in it. You know, this is what I love to do. I love competitive. Like, if someone were to tell me, I'll give you $100,000 to quit competitive, I would think about it, to be honest. Like, well, not, not to, well, to like work in competitive. Now, 100,000 is too much. Let's go like 50,000. 50, 60,000. Someone told me right now they'll give me 50,000 to quit competitive. Honestly, I'll think about it. But I probably wouldn't do it. Why? Because this is what I love. This is what I have fun doing. This is my, this is my hobby slash career slash everything. This is what I enjoy. I love competing. I love striving to be the best. I love being the best. And that's what I strive for every single day. You know, we all have had our mistakes in life. We all have done something we regret. We all have done something we wish we would have never done. Honestly, I hate regretting. I hate that word. You know, I want to live life with no regrets. In the end of the day, I'm obviously going to regret something I did in my lifetime. But to kind of negate that, I, that's why I work harder. That's why I put in the time I do. That's why I strive to be the best and nothing less. Because I want to negate that. I want to show that even though I did mistakes, even though I struggled, even though I might be broke soon or whatever the case may be, you know, when it comes to money, fame, skill, I'm gonna show that, you know, you can bounce back. You can show that hard work does pay off. You can bounce back from that area. You know, you're always gonna do something you're regretting in life, but don't worry, man. Just keep pushing, keep going hard and never give up. If you did something that hurt you, if you did something that pushed you back, for example, you know, maybe you gained a lot of weight. Maybe you, you know, you did something you wish you'd never done and you want to make it up for that person. You know, you can always make it up. You know, it's, it's don't give up, man. Life goes on, keep going, keep pushing. Either way, guys, that's it for me today. I just want to do a vlog talking about this because this has been something that's been racing through my mind lately and I just want to have a one-on-one -on -one or one and thousands of you guys uh, talk, you know, just something to really put in your head and put in your mind. You know, I've done a lot of mistakes in my career, especially uh, not only in this game, I think this game has been the worst mistakes I've done, but I definitely like quitting in MW3, quitting in Black Ops 2. Like, I wish I never did those things, you know, kind of hurt my career. I could have probably been in a better place or, I, think I, I mean, I've been doing pretty good, but I could have done probably a little better, probably won a little bit more money. And it just sucks, but you know, uh, just keep working hard. Never give up. And yeah, that's my message for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been a double upload by your boy Apathy. And I'm out.